that's a pretty one. These, what are these called? <laughs> I love them, but what are they called? Hey guys, welcome back. So I got Friday favorites and foodies for you today, and it's kind of a funny week of favorites, like as I'm looking at these here, because I've got some really high-end favorites this week and some really affordable favorites this week. So kind of the two ends of the spectrum, which is kind of how my collection looks. Like I've got, well, it's not as equal. I've got a little bit of high-end makeup, but I've got way more affor affordable makeup. Like I'm more of the drugstore, affordable makeup girl. That's my first love as far as makeup goes. So in my collection, it's way more weighted towards the affordable. But in these favorites, I got a little bit of both. And as far as what I was doing with my makeup, just kind of like girly neutral, like nothing super involved, you know, nothing really crazy or different, just kind of everyday girly makeup. So that's what we got to talk about. So let's get to it. The eyeshadow palette that I have been loving this week is this one right here. Now I did get this through Octoly, so this was sent to me, but I am obsessed with this palette. This is the Givenchy Shimmering Nudes Palette. So this is what the outside box looks like because you know, I hang on to boxes for some reason. So if you wanna know what the box looks like, there it is. But the actual palette looks like this and it is so gorgeous and girly and fancy and just beautiful. I love the packaging on this. And it's also like a little bit Valentine's-y too because it's like rose gold, but then it has like a silvery sort of a tint to it. It's so pretty, it like catches the light, oh my goodness. And even the little clasp is like fancy. So it just looks like fancy makeup, which just is fun and makes me happy. And then what you get in here is three different mattes and three different shimmery shades. So I do have this on my eyes today. Oh my goodness, every time I've worn this palette, I just love it, because I love the shimmery shades. The mattes are really nice too. I wish this one right here is a little bit light for me. Like I can't really use it in my crease. So I have my um, bronzer in my crease. So that's what I've pretty much been doing. I tried this one, but it's just a little bit light. Um, but really like the standouts for me in this palette are the shimmery shades. Just let me like swatch them all for you because you just have to see them all. Now I did see somebody else show this in a video and she wasn't a fan of it, but I, love it. I mean, love, love it. Uh, now these, <laughs> this green one is not swatching at all, but I have that on my eyes and it's gorgeous on the eyes. So I don't know what's happening there, but, um, I have been using it with Mac fix plus. I think I swatched the same shadow twice. I did. So this one, is also swatched up there. So I swatched that one twice for some reason, but the shimmery shades, oh my goodness, swatches are not doing it justice. That's terrible. That looks like nothing, but that's the green. Trust me, I have it on my eyes. What I've been doing is using it with MAC Fix Plus and like a small flat concealer brush. These are chunky glittery shades. So if you don't like chunky glittery shadows, you will not be impressed with this. You'll think this is terrible. I hate this, but for me, I love to use it with MAC Fix Plus and like really pack it on and then it's just like so shimmery. It just catches the light like crazy. Oh my goodness, so pretty. So I've been using like the matte colors like in the outer corner and crease, but then, and then my bronzer in my crease, but then I've been using either the green, which isn't showing up at all in a swatch, or the shimmery brown color, this one right here. And then I've been applying the white shade like right in the inner part of my eyes and I'm obsessed with it. Like, I think it's so pretty. Love the shimmery shades, but they are chunky. You do get some fallout, but I just love shimmery shadows. And I do feel like they're not one of those that just like flakes away and doesn't build up on itself. They do build up on themselves, but they do take a little bit of work and a little bit of, you know, mixing medium or something like that. So not everybody may be impressed with this, but I've been loving it this week. On the other end of the spectrum, I have a very affordable blush favorite this week. This is the Essence Silky Touch Blush in Sweetheart. So I've just been going with like a very neutral, girly sort of a cheek, just, you know, like a everyday pink color. I do have a highlighter that I'm about to mention to you that I've been loving too, but this is just like the blush I've been reaching for pretty much all week. And it's just a really pretty, light neutral pink. I mean, nothing like super different or out there or anything like that, but just a really sweet, girly 
pink blush. These have such a nice texture to them. They're really soft and silky. I mean, they really are like a silky touch blush. They are just such a nice formula to them. They blend in the cheeks really nicely. I find them wearing well. So, I mean, you can't go wrong with like a, how much is this? Like $3 or something like that? I don't think it's even $5. I think it's around $3. So super crazy affordable, really nice blush. If you're looking for something just like sweet and girly, that is matte. I believe it's matte. Maybe has a little bit of a satin sort of a tint to it, but really it's mostly matte, looks like. But if you're looking for that, this is a great option. And the highlighter that I'm wearing today that I've been really loving this week is the Ofra Highlighter in You Glow Girl. This is one that was done in collaboration with Dupe That. They have this one and then kind of like a more warm golden sort of shade. This one is the more like pinky toned one. It's so pretty. This has such a nice texture to it. This is pigmented, like it packs a punch, like it is, it's a highlighter. It really like makes an impact. Like it's, it's, it's there. There's no hiding this highlighter, but it is absolutely beautiful. And it's kind of like a, you can see it's like a mid-tone sort of a pink. So it's not super light and icy pink. So I think it's going to work for a lot of skin tones. Really, really beautiful. Love the texture on these. I love Ofra highlighters. They are just so intense and beautiful. This one is packed in a little bit more than like um, Beverly Hills really kicks up a lot of product. Even um, Blissful does a little bit, Rodeo Drive does a little bit, but Blissful especially. This one really doesn't do that. It's like really packed in there. So it's not to the point that you can't get it out or anything like that. Like you swatch it, it comes off, comes off with a brush, but it doesn't like poof everywhere. So a little bit easier to work with than the other ones, but I love them all. So if you're looking for a pinky tone highlight, ooh, this is pretty. On to lips. First off, I wore red lip this week, and this is one of my go-to favorite red lipsticks. This is such a nice formula, great price point. These are awesome lipsticks. These, what are these called? <laughs> I love them, but what are they called? The Milani Color, it's not Color Sensational, Color Statement Lipsticks, I think. Color Statement Lipsticks, I'll link it for you. This one is Matte Kiss. This is so pretty. These smell really nice. Now you have to like the scent of vanilla because they are like really fragranced. They're very vanilla, but I think they smell amazing. Like cupcakes, oh my goodness. This is such a gorgeous like classic red. It's kind of like a mid-tone red, but like it looks like it has a slightly like warm tone to it, just slightly more on the orangey side than like the berry, um, raspberry side or something like that but look at that so pigmented and creamy i mean it's like one swipe you have color i like these because they're really comfortable mattes but then they set down so they kind of like i don't know they just set so then they stay really well but they don't like i don't know they don't dry out your lips but they don't move around they're just easy, great lipsticks. So that is one of my go-tos. I feel like I just talked about this maybe like in the last couple of months, but I love it. It's like just one that if I wanna wear red lip, this is one that I'm likely gonna grab for. And I wore this lipstick this week. This is one of my favorite things in my collection. It was one of my first like really high-end makeup products, but mainly I love it because Timothy gave it to me for Valentine's Day several years ago, and we went and shopped together, and he helped me pick it out, so I just love it. This is Chanel's Rouge Coco in 432 Cecily, and it's just a really pretty neutral color. Like, it's probably one that, well, I was going to say it might be dupable. It probably is, but I do feel like it's special because it's like a pinky neutral color, but then it has like a little bit of a shine and almost a little bit of a metallic sheen to it, but not like super metallic, just enough to like catch the light. So, I mean, it's a beautiful everyday sort of color. So pretty. So that's what I wanted, something that I could really get use out of. And it's just beautiful. It does have like a, I don't know, perfumey scent, but it's, it's subtle. Like you have to really get up there. So that doesn't bother me at all. But just so you know, it does have, like, have that kind of like, I don't know, I don't, I, I think of, it smells like something to me, but I can't think of what it smells like. Some makeup, 
that maybe my mom used to wear years ago. So it kind of has that sort of a scent. But it's, I gotta really get my nose up there to smell it. So it's, I gotta really get up there. So it's not very strong. That's just an FYI. Such a pretty color, I love it. And lastly, the combo that I'm wearing right now, this is just such a sweet, girly pink lip combo. I love these two. First off is one of the Wet n Wild lip liners that I'm obsessed with, one of the new ones. This is the Perfect Pout Gel Lip Liner and this is in Never Petal Down. So let me swatch that for you. I love these. I've worn this by itself. You could just wear this by itself. This could be, if you're looking for a great pink lip, you could just wear this liner by itself. They're amazing, $5. I'm obsessed with them. And then the lipstick that I'm wearing, this is one of the Avon, um, one of the mattes, Perfectly Matte Lipstick, and this is in Pure, Pure Pink? Yeah, Pure Pink. This is like a really pretty neutral everyday pink because it's really kind of like muted and not super bright, so that's what I love about it. So it's just one that you can wear everywhere. Like it's not just a super statement, crazy bright pink lip. It's very neutral. So they, I mean, they're really, really close in tone. This one's a little bit on the brighter side, but I love them both. This is another great formula. Kind of close to the Milani ones in that um, it's a really comfortable matte formula, but these wear crazy well. Like, I love these lipsticks. If you've never tried these, these are really super overlooked, but they are a great formula. So that one, Purely Matte. Purely Matte, is that what it's called? Perfectly Matte. The Perfectly Matte lipsticks. If you haven't checked them out, love them. And if you're looking for a pink one, that's a pretty one. All right, guys, so those are all my favorites for this week. So I hope that you really enjoyed this video. Please hit a thumbs up if you did, and let me know down below what you've been loving this week, or maybe not so much loving. Let me know your weekend plans or any questions that you have. I'm happy to answer those. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!